Hi everybody, welcome back and thanks for tuning in to Crypto Mainly. My name's Lee. Well, 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 um, Bitcoin chopping around again. Um, let's see if we can have a look at that together, shall we? And see if we can get to the bottom of exactly what's going on here. So um, once again, guys, thank you for your interest in my channel. Um, I've got NFTs available on OpenSea and on Rarible. Um, thank you for your interest in those also. Uh, let's just jump straight into the content. Okay, let's try and figure out what's going on here. Um, so, <laughs> once again, uh, Bitcoin is, uh, is is chopping around. Uh, let me uh, let's have a let's have a closer look and see what's going on in this little zone here. Okay, so um, I'm just going to take that W away because we can see that you know th that's you know p possibly uh, still going to be happening. There's going to be some kind of W in sensation uh, below this support, uh, and then we're going to be lifting off. Um, I don't think that. The, you know, there's nothing here that looks anything like uh, a bottoming pattern. Um, in fact, if we look at the um, the market structure at the moment, although it's chopping around like hell, um, you can actually see that we've still got uh, lower highs there. Um, and if we looked at the bottom, um, you can also see that we've got um, lower lows. Um, so effectively, you know, what this is at the moment, um, it could be classed as a downtrend. Okay, I mean, obviously, there's a long way to go yet, but um, you know that that's what that's what we're looking at here uh, from a, from a short term perspective, uh, at the very least. So, um, okay, let's have a look, see what's going on, because you know, it, it, it is very, it's actually getting quite confusing, you know, you know, and that's what the market tries to do to you if you, if it's starting to be choppy price action, you know, that's exactly what it's trying to do is trying to cause some confusion. Um, and, um, and grab some liquidity off the market participants again. Um, you can see, uh, we'll have a look at a couple of the charts at the moment, but we can see we, we will, I was looking at this head and shoulders pattern. Um, you know, the, the AB from here to here, so the, the top of the wick, AB to the bottom of the wick, um, is this move here from the CD. So AB equals CD. You can see that that move actually did play out, uh, but you can also see that this head and shoulders pattern, when it, it did complete, so we came, got the, the left shoulder, the head, the right shoulder. We came down to the neckline. We broke down. And in fact, we haven't actually completed, you know, this move yet um, down to the bottom here. So, you know, I, I'm still, uh, you know, on the face of things here, um, you know, you, you would strictly speaking, if you were looking at this from TA point of view, you know, you've broken above this, uh, you know, this, this sort of supply and demand zone here. Um, and we are sitting above that now. Um, but I, I don't think this is going to hold, actually. I think we're going to see, you know, we're going to see the price action come back down um, yet again. But, I mean, you know, bear, bear in mind, you know, guys, I, I, this is, this is you know, speculation. Strictly speaking, we're above this supply and demand zone here. Um, so we're above this big resistance area. And you, we should, you know, theoretically get continuation um, higher from here. From a technical perspective, um, but looking at you know the the amount of volume which which caused this, we'll have a look at this spike price in a minute on a different chart, which is this one here, uh, which I'll show you in a second, um, and I'll explain why I think that we're gonna you know we're gonna see a move down before we see any move up. Okay, so um, and in fact, the, the the move that I'm expecting is actually somewhere down to the bottom, uh, actually come come back and maybe break down here and have a have a small wick down to the bottom, have a sudden sort of um not uh you know not like a, a v bottom recovery i wouldn't call it that um but something similar to as we've said before th this long wick here uh let me just highlight that a little bit for you so yeah so these are these wicks here which we spoke about in, in yesterday's video so th these wicks here i'm still expecting something like that to come into this vicinity here okay so let's um let's zoom in a little bit on this chart Get rid of the highlighter for a minute. Let's have a closer look at this. You know, I'm not gonna not gonna lie, guys. This is this is far from clear what's happening now. Um, you know, we, we got this, you know, th this wick down uh into this zone here. Th this green dotted line actually was something uh which I added again last night, which is actually uh, a key monthly level. Um so that 38,000. 466 uh, as per the green the green price there 38,466 
um, is actually a key monthly level. So it's not surprising that we at least got a bounce from there. Um, but I do think something similar to like perhaps back here, you see where you've got you've got this this first wick here. OK, and then you've got the, the price action, which came up all the way up to, in fact, um, you know, just just around the thirty nine thousand mark there. And then we got this deeper, uh, this deeper wick here. Um, you know, I, I still think that something like that's going to happen. We've got our, our first wick, our first attempt here. Okay, and you'll see it's very similar. Uh, let me just get rid of this. Uh, move this circle out of the way for a minute. You can you, you can see here. You know, you've got the, this 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 wick down to the dotted line here. And you've got the similar thing here. You know, you ha it had the first wick down. You had a nice bounce. Uh, just out of interest, let's see what sort of bounce that was. So from from the from the wick low, put the magnet on. So from, from the wick low uh, up to the the high there. So that's uh, two thousand nine hundred. Two thousand nine hundred dollars from from the wick low to the bounce. Um, let's just have a quick look and see what we're looking at here. Uh, so you've got the wick low um, to the bounce. Um, I didn't plan this, guys, but as you can see, 2,700. You can, I, I'm just eyeballing it, you know, uh, which is obviously where I'm just looking at the screen rather than measuring anything. And now that we measure it, look, it's 2,700. Um, you know, it, it, it's a comparable bounce that we got here before we got this huge liquidity hunt. So we've got a, a comparable bounce. Um, you know, there's a long way to go on on this wick here, but as you can see, this is today's wick, and as you can see already, it's starting to form a, like a, a bearish candle for today. Uh, but I mean, there's a, there's a long way to go on today's candle. You know, there's another twelve hours left. Um, so don't read too much into what I'm saying here. But if if this candle today um, forms any kind of, you know, th this candle here, if if this forms any any kind of sort of bearish looking topping pattern. Uh, you know, on, on this candle, then then don't be surprised to see this liquidity hunt. I still think it's going to happen, guys. I just don't think it's over yet. Um, and um, you know, as we can see from here, you know, so it, we, we've had wicks below. I mean, even if you look at the, like, for example, this wick here where it came below, we got a huge bounce followed by yet another re, another retest and another wick below that support, and then another huge bounce, and then yet another. You know another set of wicks below uh, and then again a huge bounce here comes back down and now we're getting another wick below i, I think we're setting up for this um scenario now i don't want any of you guys to, to miss out i mean if, if we are you know i, I suppose you know if we're going to be continuing higher here i don't want any of you guys to miss out uh, but on the same you know on the same token i don't want to like have, have not warned you of what i think is going to happen next um yet again you know at the moment as we stand now and as i say there is you can see from the uh, the timestamp time here. Um, I am looking at a daily time frame, as you can see at the top, and there is on the, the uh, on the timer there. There's there's another twelve hours to go of today's uh, price action, so that, that's a long way to go yet. Um, but as things stand at the moment, you know we we've got this high, and we've got uh, you know lower highs, uh, and, and you know we have got lows and lower and a lower lows here. So I mean you know strictly speaking on from a technical point of view that this you know could be could be seen as a, as a downtrend but as i said it's, it's a little bit messy and we're a long way away from that being confirmed yet guys but let me just um show you this chart which i know we've been looking at over the last couple of days i just the reason i'm coming back to this one really guys is you can see the purple arrows that i've drawn here basically is is the, the wick to the base okay you know if you uh, and it's this is just a, a duplicate of this arrow in the same this is exactly the same size and if you see from the top of the wick there um to, to the bottom um you've got about three quarters of, of this move down to this wick low here so the arrow around about sort of three quarters of the move and if we do the same again the same size arrow again um and we do about three quarters of the move we're back into this target zone um that, that we've been talking about you know the 30 as you can see from the side there uh there's the there's the uh the, the infamous 38 800 that we've been talking about for a while now um 38 800 is this support level here so 
So this is the lower support level there. So if I just hover amongst, if I just hover on the line there, you can see on the right hand side, uh, the black price in the black box is 38,905. Um, that comes from obviously the, the 88.6 retracement. So which is the, the, the measure, so the, the, the measure from the, 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 the low here to the high and the 88.6 is there. Which is the thirty-seven eight, uh, sorry thirty-eight eight hundred uh, level again, which we've been looking at, which comes up against the bottom of the support here. Which again, thirty-eight eight hundred is on this level here. It's just on the side there. You can see where it is. It's the you know the, the grey line if you like, um, and anything below that thirty-eight eight hundred is a wick. So anything in this price zone here, which as you can see does go um, you know all the way down to. The, uh, the uh, 37,765. I wouldn't be surprised if we see even a little bit lower than that, down to like 37,400. Um, but, um, the, you know, the um, what, I, what I've done here is basically uh, I've drawn a fib from the low to the high. Uh, and as you can see, it's the one spot 272 retracement. Um, it forms the base of this target. But you can also see that the 1.618, which is here, is at is at like the uh, thirty six eight fifty? Um, I think that's a little bit too deep. I don't think we'll get down quite that far. Thirty six. Uh, let's have a look on here. Well, I suppose it's possible. I suppose it's possible. Thirty six eight fifty on here. Actually, if we look on here, is actually a, um, I've already popped that in red. Look, thirty eight. Uh, sorry, thirty six eight. Nine six, so within fifty dollars, is actually this this low this series of lows here. So you've got lows here, and you've got lows here. Perhaps you know, you've also got the intersection between this red dotted line, um, and also you know, if we draw the the wick lows here, if we draw these these the, the you know the, the sort of the the deepest part of the wicks, if you like, if you draw join those up, you've also got another intersection there. So I mean, it, you know, I suppose it is possible. You know, perhaps that's the target, the 1.618 at, you know, at the 36,850 mark would bring us down to, to exactly to, to this intersection here. So you've got the red dotted line at 36, you know, around 36,850. You've got the intersection of, of this, this support line, this dotted support line. Um, so, yeah, I mean, perhaps this is where the, the, the wick is, is, is aiming um, to be. Let's, let's just put a little arrow on there so we can... I can remember that we were talking about this in the future, but perhaps that, you know, we're, we're going to see perhaps something. Obviously, it won't be a dead straight line by that, but perhaps that's where we're going to see, guys. The, the, this liquidity hunt, I'm convinced, is coming. Um, and, um, you know, from a technical point of view, yesterday things have changed because obviously the price has taken a really nice bounce. And you can also see um, that, you know, you, you've got, you know, a, a, a clear su support which has held before here. You can see uh, is held here and is now held, holding again. So, you know, from a technical point of view, this that, you know you could argue that this that, that you've got uh, you've got the lows here, but the lows here, and you've got high uh, you know a for, form of higher lows there. <coughs> Excuse me, form of higher lows there. Um, if we do get to, you know, if we you start to see prices get to above this level here so i've just drawn that on 41 150 shall we say if you do start to see the prices uh start to go above you know the, this range high if you like on the daily at uh at 41 150 if price breaks above there and then comes back down to retest then that would be an indication that price is going to actually continue it is going to continue higher as it stands now we're not we're not we're not above that high um and you can see on the smaller time frames um you know we are we are sort of we're tr trying to work against that resistance we are trying to erode our way through the resistance at the moment but we we we're, we're not doing it quite as yet so you know my my bias is actually to the downside now it's the least likely people won't be expecting that um particularly now because we've broken above the you know these local highs and things people will be expecting continuation higher um, and of course, the more people the market can trap, the more liquidity it can grab.
so yeah so just looking at this guys again sorry we just skipped around a little bit so um what am i looking at here so you've got the these three arrows um you know wh which form the basis of where this target would be three quarters of the move if you like would take us down into this blue box territory uh, this blue box territory is also the, the, the retracement from the low here the low to the high the retracement is actually you know a one-to-one -one retracement um or the one spot 272 now having looked at this again you know with you guys obviously uh, watching um i you know i do think actually it might be that we do end up back down to um possibly even to, to the that level there i mean if we start to see le drop you know prices drop below that level then um we, you know we could be uh we could be in serious trouble there because the support might give and then if it does you know we'll be heading down to sort of you know certainly the low 30s um and continuation lower than that after, you know in time but i think we're a long way off from that yet um so yeah i mean just uh, we were looking at this guys i just wanted to talk about this pump uh here really so you know this price action that's happened yesterday okay uh you know where did that come from how did that happen etc etc well if we look at the we've been looking at the bearish rsi uh, at the bottom here but what you'll also notice now um and this is the trouble you know people say uh, can say oh you know you're sort of chopping around with your opinion you know one minute you're saying one thing the next you're saying another well every minute of every day 24 hours a day cryptocurrency is trading um, and so, you know, it, it, things change, you know, the, the price action changes, the market structure changes, um, and, and you need to be looking out for that. So, um, and, and that's why it appears sometimes that we'll be saying one thing one minute and, and then, then changing our mind the next. But, um, you know, that, that's unfortunately the, 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 sort of the, 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 the name of the game, shall we say. So, um, yeah, so just wanted to show you this really. So I'm sure that some of you have seen this, but um, you, we, we, you have got, um bullish divergence here okay which, which was formed by the um you know the rsi was coming down looking like it was going to keep continue down but actually um we got a pump pump in price we got a sudden turnaround um, and actually you can see from the, the dotted line coming down you've got lower lows on price action and at the base here now on rsi you've got higher lows so this this um this pump if you like here this this price action yesterday uh is the result of this bullish con bullish divergence um being confirmed um so in the same way that we're looking at this dotted line for the rsi to come below that for the bearish divergence to be confirmed the bullish divergence was confirmed um when price where are we Let me just get this right make sure it's right the bullish divergence was confirmed um yeah when we so so you know at, at that level um so yeah you know it's not it's not surprising that we got this 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 sudden you know this sudden uh pump and and positive price action it's not surprising at all but having said that you know we are currently still printing um you know lower highs as i've said uh, as i said a, a moment ago let me just show you that so you got uh, a high oh hello so you got a, you know a high here and you got you got lower highs here um you know at what point does, does this get invalidated well as you can see at the moment uh on the rsi there at the bottom you'll see that price is trying to break oh, sorry. So price is trying to break through this, uh, you know, th this resistance here, and price is trying to break higher here. Um, so if uh, for some reason we do see the RSI break that dotted line and break higher, then that will invalidate the, you know, the, the chances of us seeing bearish divergence. So that will be something to look out for, guys. If we do see RSI, it is trying to break through. Look, if if we do see RSI breaking through that, um, at, at, you know, at, successfully, um, and, and price starting to get, you can see I've marked on here now uh, the, this dotted line here from this high. You can see that price is trying to break through there. The the top dotted line here 
um, it is actually um, almost exactly in line with, with the highs here to the left. Um, so in fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make that, I'm going to take that over there. Um, because that's the correct the correct point to measure it from here. The candle body close of, of these highs um, actually is, is 41,320. So if you do see price break above 41,320, come down and retest um, as support, then there's a good chance that we'll get the continuation higher. Um, at the moment, as it stands right at this moment in time, as we're recording, um, you've got one, two, three drives of bearish divergence. I wouldn't call it a fourth drive. You've got one, two, three drives of, of, of bearish divergence if this support, you know, if this resistance holds and we start seeing RSI rolling over and the price rolling over, which it already is looking like it's trying to do. And then we will get this move down to the downside. Um, so yeah, I mean, thanks guys for listening. So I feel like I've babbled on a little bit today. I'll just have a quick look at Ethereum before we go. Uh, and, and this is pretty much as we as we expected. You know, um, the, the price did come down uh, to to our, our price objective, uh, as per our little squiggly blue line here. So yeah, we 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 were the price was coming up here yesterday when we looked at it when we did the video. It did roll over. It did come down and retest the support as we expected. We've got a bit of a bounce now. I do still think we're going to come back down again um, in relation to the move from Bitcoin where we come. You know, where we come down here, we're going to get another move to the downside from Ethereum, um, possibly down to, um, I, I would say, you know, uh, somewhere between 2850 and 2900. Uh, and then I think we'll start to see, you know, some, some improved price action moving into the summer. I'm certainly hoping for that anyway. Uh, the, the sort of the invalidation to that, guys, if, if you like, is if if we start to see candle body closes, I think, Below that, um, th th this lower support, below this intersection of, of price, um, and below the thirty-six thousand nine hundred. I've actually that's actually a little bit lower than what I said previously, I, I believe. But I mean, anything below thirty-six thousand nine hundred. If you start to see candle body closes down below here, then I think that there's not going to be a bear trap scenario going on down this low. I think if we start to see below candle body closes on the daily time frame below 36,900 then we will start to see the price accelerate to the downside unfortunately down to the lower 30s um but um uh, you all know my view on that guys i don't think that's going to happen i think we're um, going to be getting positive price action so let's hope for that and uh thank you very much for listening to me waffling on and i look forward to speaking to you tomorrow uh, always remember guys take profits buy something real take care